गुड मॉर्निंग माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ शिव प्रसाद प्राइनरी लेक्चर इन मैथमेटिक्स ऑफ नालंदा विद्या मंदिर प्लस टू साइंस कॉलेज बारामपुर नाउ दिस इज माय फोर्थ क्लास ऑफ मैट्रिक्स लास्ट क्लास वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट मल्टीप्लिकेशन ऑफ मैट्रिक्स फर्स्ट वी रिकॉल दैट ओके multiplication of matrices multiplication of matrices are sold two type one is scale mul multiplication of matrix by scalar and matrix multiplication what multiplication of matrices more than two matrices can be multiplied first multiplication of matrix by scalar means if we multiply it by a number of every element of a matrix then we say that is our multiplication of matrix by scalar let a be a matrix having order 2 cross 3 and elements are like as 1 2 3 4 5 6 that uh, 2 is a number that may be considered as a scalar and we can find 2a is equal to this implies 2a is equal to every element of a is multiplied by 2 then what is our 2a now 2 into 1 that is 2, 2 into 2 that is 4, 2 into 3 that is 6, 24, 8, 10 and 12. This is our, our 2a and this is known as our scalar multiplication. Now second one is multiplication of matrices. Multiplication of matrices means if we multiply more, two or more matrices uh, that is known as multiplication of matrices. And we are multiplied any two matrices if they are followed a rule. For example, A matrix with multiplied by B matrix. If A matrix is multiplied with B matrix, then it is a condition the number of column of A matrix, the number of column of A matrix is equal to number of rows in B matrix. I mean, A matrix and B matrix are multiplied by A number of columns and B matrix are multiplied by rows. If A matrix and column B matrix are rows, then we can multiply A with B. Okay? Let her and how can it multiply? Let her a B A matrix of order M cross N and B B A matrix B B A matrix of order A, A matrix multiplied with B matrix then the number of rows in B matrix is N N cross B if we multiply AB, if we multiply A with B, let's say that is C. And the order of matrix C is number of rows in A cross number of column in B. Therefore, if we multiply AB, we get the matrix C, the order of the matrix C is M cross B. Number of rows in A and number of columns in B. Therefore, C is the matrix of order M cross P. Okay? Now, all the matrices can be written in compact form. A, A is equal to, let A is equal to A, I, J of order M cross N. And B is a matrix written in B, I, J of order n cross p then c can be denoted as c i j of order m cross p okay? that is a 1 1 a 1 2 a i j of order m n written as a 1 1 a 1 2 a 1 3 a dot 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 a 1 n a 2 1 a 2 2 a23 dot 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 
2n. Similarly, a, m1, a, m2, a, m3, dot dot dot, a, mn. This is our matrix. If we multiply it with matrix b, matrix b can be written as b11, b12, b13, b b1 p number of column in b is p therefore this is our first row p column we can write b1 p this is our second row first column b21 b22 b3 total b2 p and number of rows in b is n therefore this is our n the row of matrix b we can write b n1 b n2 b n3 total 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 b n p this element belongs to n zero and p column. Then we can write it b and p. If we multiply this, we can get the matrix C. That is equal to c11, c12, c13, dot 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 c1 p, c21, c22, dot 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 c2 p. In a similar way, we can write c m1, c m2, dot 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 c. MP. Where the element of Cij is equal to Cij is equal to summation of I summation of K is equal to 1 to N A I K into B K J. This is our formula that means the c1 now the elements of matrix c are product of we can product a with b we get c then the element of first row first column is the sum of the product of first row first row of a matrix with first column of b matrix that means that sum of multiplication multiply of the corresponding element of first row of a column with the first column of B matrix. First row row A matrix row, first row row A11 multiply with the B11. A12 multiply with the B21. A13 multiply with the A B31. Similarly, we can multiply A1 and multiply with the B1 and multiply collaborate. Then we can add A11. That is C11 is equal to A11 into B11 plus a12 into b21 plus dot 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 a11 a plus a n1 into b n 1 n into b n 1 this is our first row first column similarly you can define also first row second column first row second column dot 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 all the elements of c okay Last class, we will take some question for you. That is, matrix A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, like this. And B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And matrix C is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If possible, find the product of AB, AC. B A B C C A C B. First way, last class we have discussed about A B. If we multiply A with B, the number of row columns in A two order is two cross two. This order is two cross three. This order is three cross two. Therefore, we can multiply A with B number of column is equal to number of row number of column in A is equal to number of rows in B. Therefore, we can define AB, but we cannot define AC number of column 2, but in C number of rows 3. BA B means number of column in B3, number of rows in A is 2. Therefore, we cannot define BA. Similarly, BC B and C. If in B3 columns, 
in C three rows. Therefore, we can define BC and also define CA. Here two columns in C and two rows in A. Therefore, define CA and also we can define CB. CB here three columns. Sorry, two columns in C, two columns in C and three two rows in B. Therefore, we can multiply also CB. First, we multiply AB. This is equal to A means one two three four. A quarter. 2 cross 3 and B is the order of 2 cross 3. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. 6. Next corresponding element two and here next column corresponding element is four. Next two cross four. That is our first row, first column. This is our element of our A B is position first row, first column. Now define first row, second column. One into two, one into two plus two into five. This is our first row, second column. Now first row, third column also define one into three, one into three plus two into six. This is our first row. Third column. Similarly, we can also define second row, first column, second row, second column, second row, third column. That's all. Three into one, three into one plus four into four. That is our second row, first column. Three into two means three into two plus four into five. That is our second row, second column. Then third, second row, third column. Three into three plus four into six. Therefore, in this way, we can define AB. And the final result is. This is equal to one into one, one plus four into into four eight, one plus eight that is nine. One into two two plus five into two ten, ten plus two twelve. Six into two twelve plus one into three, three plus twelve fifteen. Three into one three plus four into four, sixteen plus three nineteen. Three into two six, this is six plus this is twenty. This is what? Twenty six three into three nine four into six twenty four. Therefore, twenty four plus nine is equal to thirty three. This is our matrix A B and of order two cross three. Therefore, the number of rows in two of matrix A and the number of column three in matrix B. Therefore, this is our matrix multiplied with A and B. Okay. Similarly, we can define B into C, C with A, and C with B. Okay. Some notes. Some notes. मल्टीप्लिकेशन मल्टीप्लिकेशन मैट्रिक्स What is the condition? 
हमारो a मैट्रिक्स और b मैट्रिक्स इधर मैट्रिक्स हैं जी। हमें कौन डिफाइन करना है? We can define a plus b and also a b. Fourth condition, we can define a plus b and also b. Both are defined. Let मैट्रिक्स से order of मैट्रिक्स a is equal to a of order m cross m and b is also order let's say p cross m. माना ना मैं a रो मैट्रिक्स ऑर्डर को हमें एम क्रॉस एम कौन से कर ले बी रो पी क्रॉस क्यों कर सकते हैं हमें कौन डिफेंड कर पहले ए प्लस बी डिफेंड कर पहले ए प्लस बी डिफेंड कर लो मैंने इट कौन पे है हमें इफ ए प्लस बी डिफेंड ए प्लस बी डिफेंड इट पे हमें कौन देखिए ना कितने लोग एक बार में बी रो डिफेंड कर पिया ना बोधार M is equal to P and N is equal to Q. This is our first condition. So, if M is equal to P and N is equal to Q, then we will have A to B. So, we will have A to B. Okay? Now, A, B also defined. We can multiply A with B. Order of A is equal to M plus N. Order of B is equal to P cross Q. If we multiply A with B, then N is equal to P. N is equal to P. And so this implies, if we multiply A with B, then condition is N is equal to P. From this to, from this to, we, we find M is equal to P, and P is also N, and N also Q. Therefore, M is equal to P is equal to N is equal to Q. All are of a same. That means, uh, M and N same. That means this is our M and number of rows and number of columns same. Therefore, say A is a square matrix. Similarly, P and Q are the same, and that value also same as M. Therefore, this is also M cross M. Therefore, if A plus B and A B both are defined, that means we need a matrix to add the area and also multiply the area. Then the condition is going to be both are of the same. अपर एम इन टू एन एम इन टू एन मेंस स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स आउ अपर सेम ऑर्डर डी डाइग्राम ऑर्डर सेम है तो और डी डाइग्राम स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स है तो ओके तो हमें लिख दोगे डी लेट ए एंड बी आर टू मैट्रिक्सेस इफ ए प्लस बी एंड ए बी बोथ आर डिफाइन्ड देन ए एंड बी आर स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स अपर सेम ऑर्डर है तो दिया मैं इफ वी डिफाइन ए प्लस बी एंड ए बी बोथ आर ऑफ सेम स्क्वायर ऑफ आ सेम स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स अपर सेम ऑर्डर ओके ना थर्ड पॉइंट लेट ए बी ए मैट्रिक्स of a order m cross n a matrix for order manara m cross n if we define a b and also p a i mean we can multiply a with b and also b with a both are defined then the order of B matrix is M, sorry, N cross M. The whole A matrix order of the column is M cross N. A matrix is B and multiply it. What is the answer? Both A, B and B are defined. So the B matrix is a matrix of number of rows is n, then B matrix must have a m n number of rows. Let's say p number of columns. Okay. Now B also defined. B also defined. We consider the matrix n cross p here m cross n. Therefore here m cross n. Now we write if we multiply B with the matrix a, then p is equal to m. P is equal to M means we can write here M. Therefore, B is the order N cross N. Therefore, if N of order M cross N, 
both AB and BA defined, then the order of the matrix B is 10%. Did the matrix defined? One of the A go B element to break below, B ray element to break below. So, A order is the both are reverse to the B order. Okay? In our number system, in our number system, if we multiply two number x and y, in our number system, for any number x and y are any real number x y belongs to. Us. If their product is zero, if their product is zero, then either x is equal to zero or y is equal to 0 or both x is equal to y is equal to 0. In our number system, we can multiply two matrices that must be 0, then either one of them, at least one of them is 0. Otherwise, we cannot, the result is 0. Okay, but in matrix multiplication, but in matrix multiplication, we can multiply two non-zero matrix we get a zero matrix okay non non zero matrix a non zero matrix a non zero matrix is the sorry sorry Product of two non zero matrix may be zero matrix. That means let A and B are two matrices. A and B are two matrices. If A is A into B is equal to zero, A and B are two matrices, and A into B is equal to zero, then need not be anyone is zero. That means either A is 0 or B is 0. I may go back and see. So when A is 0, may need not be anyone is 0. When A is not equal to 0, and B also not equal to 0. Okay? For example, let A is equal to 1, 2, 0, 0. Let A is equal to 1, 0, 2, 0 and B is equal to 0, 0, 1, 2. If we multiply A with B, A with B we can get 1, 0, 2, 0, multiply with 0, 0, 1, 2. That is 1 into 0, 0 plus 0 into 1, 0. That is first row, first column is 0 plus 0. First row, second column 1 into 0, 0, 0 into 2. 0, 0 plus 0. Second row is first column. 2 into 0, 0 into 1, 0 plus 0. That is, second row, second column, 2 into 0, 0 into 2. That is also 2 is equal to 0, 0, 0, 0. This is our null matrix. We can multiply A matrix and B matrix. We can get a null matrix. That is, 0 matrix. But A is not equal to 0, B also not equal to 0. If we multiply to non zero matrix, but the product is a 0 matrix. Okay? Details that we non zero matrix ko multiply kari ba, to ame 0 matrix bhi pai pai ya. Ta mane no je, dita non zero matrix multiply kari sabole ame pai ba. Kintu jodi dita matrix ko ame multiply kari ba, 0 pai ba, 
we need not say to any one of her is zero matrix. I'm a little bit of a zero matrix. I will go to the other non zero matrix. I will be a product of a zero matrix. Okay, now this is our two cross two row example. Order of two cross two. Now we take and we add matrices of order three. One, two, three, four, five, six, zero, zero, zero. This is our order three cross three. And another matrix zero, 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 one, two, three. If we put a column with zero, that can be a column zero, that is multiple. So I can call by zero matrix. One into zero, four into zero, zero into one. That is zero. 1 into 0, 4 into 0, 0 into 2, 0. First row, third column. 1 into 0, 4 into 0, 0 into 3, 0. Similarly, we can get all the elements is 0. The product of this is not a 0 matrix. Yeah, zero matrix uh, let it, this is a, this will be a is not equal to 0, and also b is not equal to 0. But, uh, a B is equal to zero. Then the product of two non-zero matrix is a zero matrix. Okay. Fifth condition. Letter. A B A any matrix and I B A unit matrix. A da any matrix H O and I da unit matrix H O. Okay. Now let A of order M cross. A order M cross. So, I mean, A is multiplied with I, unit vector. So, I must be having rows and the number of columns in A is N. Therefore, the number of rows of I matrix must be N. And this is our unit matrix. This is our unit matrix. The number of rows is equal to number of columns. Okay? If we multiply A matrix with I out of N matrix we can get a matrix. Similarly, we can multiply I matrix with a matrix. We can multiply I matrix with a matrix. Here number of rows is M. Therefore, here must be number of column M. Number of column M means in this is our unit matrix. Therefore, number of row also M. Therefore, in this unit matrix, unit matrix of order M. If I multiply unit matrix of order M multiplied with the matrix A, we can we get the A upper M cross. Okay. Now we go to the properties of multiplication of matrices. Properties of properties of multiplication of matrices. Now, first property is commutative. Commutative means if we multiply A with B. And B with A, if they are equal, then we say A and B are sorry, matrix multiplication of a commutative property. But in matrix multiplication, we know first we have so that if A be defined, B A may not be defined. B A may not be defined. Now, how A into B is equal to B B? Therefore, A into B is generally A into B is not equal to b into a. If you define also for some 
मैट्रिक्स ए एंड बी बोथ मैट्रिक्स आर डिफेंड बोथ ए एंड बी एंड बी ए आल्सो डिफेंड ए बी एंड बी ए बोथ आर आल्सो डिफेंड बट इन जनरली ए बी इज नॉट इक्वल टू बी फॉर एग्जांपल मैं ए इज ए मैट्रिक्स ऑफ एम प्लस एन एंड बी इज ऑफ बोथ ए बी एंड बी आर डिफेंड एंड बी ऑफ द ऑर्डर ऑफ द बी इज एन प्लस एन हियर बोथ ए बी एंड बी आल्सो डिफेंड बट द ऑर्डर ऑफ ए बी इज इक्वल टू ऑर्डर ऑफ ए बी इज इक्वल टू एम प्लस एन एम प्लस एन एंड ऑर्डर ऑफ बी इज इक्वल टू एन प्लस एन therefore ab is not equal to first orders or ab and b are not equal okay therefore in generally matrix multiplication matrix multiplication is not commutative in general that is generally matrix multiplication is not commutative for a and b are any two matrices then ab is not equal to ba in general In general, A B is not equal to B. For example, let A is equal to one to three four, and B is equal to two one one minus one. Then A B is equal to this into this first row first row one into two. Plus two into one. That is two plus two, four. First row, second column, one into one, one. Two into one minus one minus two, one plus minus one. That is equal to minus one. So sec then second row, first column, three into two, six. Four into one, four. Six plus four, ten. Second row, second column, three into one, three. Four into one, minus one, minus four. Therefore, that is equal to minus one. This is our AB. If we multiply it and also find and also find B B means B matrix multiplied with A that is equal to two one one minus two multiplied with the one two three four that is equal to first of first one two into one two plus one into three two plus three two plus three that is equal to five. First row, second row, two into two, four, one into four, four, four plus four, eight. First, second row, first row, one into one, one minus one into three minus three, one minus three is equal to minus two. Second row, second row, one into two, two, one into minus four, minus four, two minus four, minus two. This is our B A. This is our A B, and this is our B. If we compare these two matrices, therefore we find that. A B is not equal to B. A B is not equal to B. But some cases, A B may be equal to B. But some cases. डायग्नल मैट्रिक्स 
This is a diagonal matrix of order 3. Multiply with another diagonal matrix that A is equal to D, B is equal to D. Or consider B matrix is a diagonal matrix that is 2, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0, 0, 0. That's a minus 1. Therefore, we can multiply A with B. This implies A into B is equal to first row, first column, 2 into 1, 2, and 0, 0. First row, first column, 2. First row, second column, 0. First row, third column, 0. Second row, first column, 0. Second row, second column, 2. Second row, third column, 0. Third row, first column, 0. Third row, second column, also 0. Third row, third column, minus 3. This is our A into B. And B A is equal to and B A is equal to B B T 2, 0, 0. 0, 1, 0. 0, 0. Minus 1. Multiplied with 1, 0, 0. 0, 2, 0. 0, 0, 3, 2. This implies this is equal to first row, first column, 0. First row, first column, 0. First row, second column, 0 into 0. 0 into 2. 0 into 0. First row, second column, 0. Similarly, second row, second column. Second row, second column. 0 into 0, 0. 1 into 2, 2. Plus 0 into 0, 0. That is 2. Second row, third column, 0. Third row, first column, 0. Third row, second column, 0. Third row, third column, also. Sorry. Third row, third column, 0 into 0, 0 into 0, 1 into minus 0, 0 into minus 0. Therefore, if A and B are diagonal matrix of same order, then A, B is equal to B. A, B, by the way, the matrix, we have to compare A and I, B, this is our B. So, we compare A, B with B, A, both are equal. Then we say, let A and B are two diagonal matrix of the same order, then A, B is equal to B, A, okay? In general, A, in general, a matrix multiplication is not commutative. Okay? Second one is matrix multiplication is associative. You know what is associative? Associative. Associative means if you multiply A, B, associative of multiplication. A into B, first we multiply AB, then this result can be multiplied with C, and here A, first multiply B with C, then the result of BC multiplied with A, if both are same, A, B multiplied with C is equal to A into BC, then we say this is our associative property. Now, Matrix multiplication is associative. For A, B, C are three matrices are three matrices matrices are conformable for or conformable for multiplication. A, B, C, and A into B into C, then A, B into C is equal to A into B, C. A, B, C is the thing that matrix is coming over. Oh, A, B, B, C, and 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 B, B, C, and 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 B, अब B C के मल्टीपल करते हुए ताको A से तो B C का डिजिटल मल्टीपल करेगा ताहले बहुत आ सेम देन उसे मैट्रिक्स मल्टीपिकेशन इस एसोसिएटिव फॉर एग्जांपल फॉर एग्जांपल दिस इस मैट्रिक्स है दिस इस मैट्रिक्स B एंड दिस इस मैट्रिक्स C let A, B, C are three matrices. Consider matrix 
1 plus 6 plus 15 that is equal to 22. 15 plus 6 21 plus 1 22. Now we multiply first row second column. First row second column. 1 into 2 plus 2 into 4 plus 3 into 6. Okay. First row second column 1 into 2. 2 into 4. 3 into 6. 18 plus 8. 26 plus 2 that is 28. That is 28. Now multiply second row with the first column. 4 into 1, 4, 5 into 3, 15, 6 into 5, 30. That is our 30 plus 15, 45 plus 4, 49. That is our 49. And second row, second column. 2 into 4, 8, 2 into 4, 8, 5 into 4, 20, 6 into 6, 36. That is equal to uh, to it. 36 plus 20, 56 plus 8, 64. 64. This is our A to B. Then we multiply with the C, that is 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 3. Now we multiply it. This is our AB and this is C. Then we can find AB with C. That is equal to first row, first column. 22 into 1, 22 plus 28 into 2. That means 58. 22 plus 58. That is first row. First column. Now first row, second column. 22 into 2. That is 44. Plus 28 into 1. That is 28. First row, second column. That is again go. First row, third column. 22 into 3. 66. Plus 28 into 3. 3 is there. 24, 4, 2, 6, 8, 84. Okay? Now, second row, first column. 49 plus, second row, first column. 49 plus, 49 into, sorry, 64 into 2, that is equal to 128. Second row, second column. 49 into 2, that is equal to 98. 49 second row second column 49 into 2 98 plus 64 into 1 64 then second row third column 49 into 3 that is 147 plus 64 into 3 that is equal to 192 this is our a b into c and result is 8, 22 plus 58, 80. 44 plus 28, 8. 8 plus 4, 12. 4 plus 2, 6, 1, 7. 6 plus 4, 10. 8 plus 6, 51, 50. That is 100. 50. First row third column 150. This is our 49 plus 128. Okay. 7, 7, 177. Okay. Now this plus this. One sixty two. This plus this is zero. Nine. Thirteen. 339. Now, here we find A, B, B to C, that is our this matrix. Now, we find A into B, C. If we find in this way, first we write A matrix 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. With matrix B means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and matrix is equal to 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 3. First we multiply B, C. First we multiply B and C. You can write this. And then A. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The result of matrix multiplied with B, C 
right here and multiply this matrix with this. Here order is 3 cross 2 and the order of C is 2 cross 3. Therefore order of BC is 3 cross 3. We can multiply it. the matrix of order is 2 cross 3 and the matrix of multiplication of BC is 3 cross 3. Therefore we multiply it. 2 cross 3 of our matrix A with the matrix B 3 cross 3 and the matrix we get the order of 2 cross 3 2 cross 3 ok first time B equals equal multiply it like you then A matrix will multiply it and same A matrix will multiply it ok try it out if you have to add it then you will have to add it then you will have to add it then you will have to add it this implies A B into C is equal to A into B C. Therefore, matrix multiplication is associated. Matrix multiplication is not commutative. Matrix multiplication commutative नहीं. किंतु matrix multiplication कौन है? Associated लोग और हल्लों को लाला. Matrix multiplication है is generally not commutative, but matrix multiplication है is associative. Now third property is matrix multiplication. is distributed under addition that means a b c are three matrices matrices if we define a into a into b plus c that is a into b plus c is equal to same as a into b plus a into c and another one is if we a plus b a plus b into c is also a into c a into c plus b into c <coughs> okay here one point is Whenever both sides equality, whenever both sides of equality are defined for multiplication and addition for matrices. This means I am a B to C to add to the birth of B to C to add to the order of the A to 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 the A. Any three matrices I am a likhi pari ane. I am a to the A B plus C add to the A to the A matrices are control to the A to the A to the A to the A. A को हमें B plus C रिजल्ट में मल्टीप्लाई कर पाते हुआ, A को B ने मल्टीप्लाई कर पाते हुआ, कंडीशन हम जब जब मल्टीप्लाई करें A को C ने मल्टीप्लाई कर पाते हुआ, तो हमले कौन हो? ना ये कंडीशन, ये डिस्ट्रूप्ट कंडीशन सेट्स में हो, है ना? Whenever both side equalities are defined for multiplication and addition for matrices, okay? तो कहाँ मैं उठे प्रूफ करिएगा? First of all, A into B plus C is equal to AB plus AC. For A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4. B is equal to 2, 1, 3, 2. And C is equal to 1, 2, 2, 1. हमें भी A B C स्क्वायर मैट्रिक्स ने ले आप ऑर्डर दो तब मैंने B को C ले ऐड कर दिया आर रिजल्ट को A ने भी मल्टीप्लाई कर दिया A को B ने मल्टीप्लाई कर दिया A को C ने भी मल्टीप्लाई कर दिया और धीरे धीरे ऑर्डर सेम आ चुका तो हमें ऐड कर दिया ओके तो हमें भी कम करिया नाउ डी फर्स्ट डिफाइन A इनटू B प्लस दैट इज़ इक्वल ट� 3, 4 into B plus C 2, 1, 3, 2 plus 1, 2, 2, 1 
this is equal to 1 this is equal to 1 2 3 4 p plus is 2 plus 1 3 1 plus 2 3 3 plus 2 5 2 plus 1 3 this is equal to now we want to write a with b plus c this into this well, first row first column 1 into 3 3 plus 2 into 5 10 first row second column 1 into 3 3 plus 2 into 3 6 first row second row now we go second row first column 3 into 3 9 plus 4 into 5 20 second row second column 3 3 is a 9 plus 4 3 is a 12 this is equal to 13 9 9 plus 20 29 9 plus 12 21 this is our a into b plus c sorry a into b plus c now we define a b plus c a b means 1 2 3 4 multiplied by b multiplied with 2 1 3 2 plus 1 2 3 4 into c means 1 2 2 1 that is equal to first row first column 1 into 2 2 plus 3 into 2 6 first row first column first row second column 1 into 1 1 plus 2 into 2 2 more by 2 4 second row first column 3 into 2 6 4 into 3 12 second row second column 3 plus 8 plus first row first column 1 1 into 1 2 into plus 2, 2 into 2, 4. First row, second column, 1 into 2, 2 plus 2, 4. Second row, first column, 3 into 1, 3 plus 4 into 2, 8. Okay? Second row, second column, 3 into 2, 6 plus 4 into 1, 5. Okay? 3 into 2, 6. 4 into 1, 4. This is equal to, now we add this, 6 plus 2, 8, 4 plus 1, 5, 6 plus 12, 18, 3 plus 8, 11, plus 1 plus 4, 5, 2 plus 2, 4, 3 plus 8, 11, 6 plus 4, 10. This is equal to, 8 plus 5, 13, 5 plus 4, 9, 18 plus, 18 plus 11, 18 plus 11, 29, and 11 plus 10, 21. Therefore, A into B plus C and AB plus AC both are same. Therefore, matrix multiplication obey, uh, distribute over addition. Now, now cancellation law doesn't hold in multiplication of Okay, that means if A and B are two matrices, if we multiply A with B and A with C, A matrix and B matrix are multiplied by A matrix and C matrix are multiplied by A. If both are same, that doesn't means that doesn't means B is equal to C. Tamane me koi pere ne B or C same hai thiyo. Hala that is our cancellation. That is B C same hai thanda. Tamhe A ta ko cancel karke this implies that kitha dekha na B is equal to C. But it doesn't necessary B is equal to C. Okay. Therefore cancellation law doesn't holds in matrix multiplication. Hala okay. For one example. <coughs> Let matrix A is equal to 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स जीरो 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 आम आगे लिखले वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स जीरो 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 बी मैट्रिक्स नट बी मैट्रिक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री टू वन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स बी मैट्रिक्स टा थ्री टू वन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स लिख ले एंड मैट्रिक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री टू वन वन टू थ्री सेवन एट नाइन सेवन एट नाइन ए बी सी हमें लिख ले ए बी हमको लिखना ए को बी ने मल्टीप्लाई ए बी डिफाइन करना ए बी जब डिफाइन करेगा तो हम इधर मल्टीप्लाई करेंगे तो फर्स्ट और फर्स्ट का कौन सा थ्री प्लस फोर सेवन फर्स्ट रो फर्स्ट का लॉन्ग फर्स्ट रो सेकंड का लॉन्ग ना सियो वन इंटर टू टू प्लस फोर इंटर टू एट फर्स्ट रो फर्स्ट का लॉन्ग फर्स्ट रो सेकंड का लॉन्ग फर्स्ट रो थर्ड का लॉन्ग वन प्लस फर्स्ट रो थर्ड का लॉन्ग वन प्लस फोर इंटर थ्री ट्वेल्थ तो थर्टीन फर्स्ट रो फर्स्ट का लॉन्ग सॉरी 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 सर फर्स्ट रो फर्स्ट कॉलम दैट इज 3 इनटू 1 3 4 इनटू 1 4 प्लस 0 इनटू 4 0 दिस इज आवर फर्स्ट रो फर्स्ट कॉलम दैट फर्स्ट रो सेकंड कॉलम 1 इनटू 2 2 4 इनटू 2 8 0 इनटू 0 फर्स्ट रो थर्ड कॉलम 1 इनटू 1 1 4 इनटू 3 उंडलम Plus six into one six plus zero into four zero. Second row second column three into two six plus six into two twelve plus zero. Okay. Third row third column that is equal to three into one three plus six into three eighteen plus zero. That is equal to four plus three seven eight plus two ten. Four plus one, thirteen. Five plus six, eleven. Four plus ten, fourteen. Fifteen plus two, seventeen. Nine plus six, fifteen. Twelve plus six, eighteen. Eighteen plus three, twenty-one. This is our AB. This is our AB. Now we multiply ABC. AB to C. AC. This AC is equal to. Here we write a is equal to one four zero one four zero two five zero three six zero multiplied with three two one one two three seven eight and this is our sheet. Okay, now first row first column one into three three plus four into one four so three plus four plus zero into seven plus zero into seven zero first row. फर्स्ट कॉलम तो फर्स्ट रो सेकंड कॉलम 1 2 2 प्लस 4 2 8 प्लस 0 फर्स्ट रो थर्ड कॉलम फर्स्ट रो थर्ड कॉलम 1 1 1 प्लस 4 3 4 3 प्लस 0 देन सेकंड रो फर्स्ट कॉलम सेकंड रो फर्स्ट कॉलम 2 3 6 प्लस 5 1 5 0 7 सेकंड सेकंड रो सेकंड कॉलम Two into two four plus five into two ten plus zero into eight zero. Second row third column. Second row with the third column. Two into one two plus five into three fifteen plus zero into nine zero. Three into third row first column. Three into three nine plus six into one six plus zero into seven zero. Sec third row first column. Okay. Over first row, third row, second column. Three into two, six plus six into two, six into two, 
12 plus 0 into 8, 0. Third row, third column. 3 into 1, 3. Plus 6 into 3, 18. Plus 0 into 9, 0. This is equal to 3 plus 4 plus 0, 7. 2 plus 8 plus 0, 10. 1 plus 4 plus 0, 13. 6 plus 1 plus 0, 11. 4 plus 9 plus 0, 14. 2 plus 15 plus 0, 17. 9 plus 6 plus 0, 15. 6 plus 12, 18. 3 plus 18, 21. Now we compare. AB and AC. AB and this is our AB and this is our AC. We compare these two matrices. Both are equal. Uh, now in this two, same order. That is also 3 plus 3 and that is also 3 plus 3. Both are same order and corresponding elements are also 7, 10, 13, 7, 10, 13, 11, 14, 7, 10, 11, 14, 7, 10, 15, 18, 21, 15, 18, 21. With the compare the both matrices are equal. Therefore, AB is equal to AC. AB is equal to AC by left. AB is equal to AC. But B is not equal to C. B is the same again. We have already first row, second row, same. So, the third row, same thing. 5, 6, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, Even though B is equal to not C, then AB and AC are also equal. If AB is equal, we cannot say B is equal to C. Okay? So, we will see the first point. In general, in general, matrix multiplication is not commutative. Second one is, matrix multiplication is associative. Third is, Matrix multiplication obey distributive distributive property over addition. Fourth one is cancellation law doesn't holds. Now fifth one is existence of existence of multiplicative. Multiplicative identity. Multiple existence of multiplicative identity means. I mean, matrix multiplication. Re, what is matrix number? That could be matrix number one. Pegre. So then we say matrix type pi ba. Then we say then we say existence of a multiplication identity. So let. A B A square matrix of order n. A number of the square matrix of order n and I n be the unit matrix, unit matrix of order also n. A would be square matrix of order n. Order of n. That means number of row, number of column, same. And I n b a matrix, that matrix is known as unit matrix or identity matrix. If we multiply a with the unit matrix i n, here a is also matrix order n. This is equal to we get a and this is equal to we also i n multiplied with the unit matrix having n order multiplied with the a matrix A is a square matrix of order n, then we get also A. A matrix ko unit matrix, A matrix order, A square matrix into wo, C square matrix order jaha ti wo, same ident, same order of order identity matrix multiply kari ba, toh ame kona by ba A. That means, any square matrix multiplied with the same order of identity matrix, we get that a matrix. For example, For example, A is equal to 1, 2, 5, 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 7. Up order 3 and I be the unit matrix 
upper three, that is zero one zero zero, zero one zero, zero zero. We can multiply these two, we get a a into i3 that is equal to 1 to 5, 2, 1, 3, 1 to 7 is multiplied with 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. Then we get first row, first column, 1 into 1, 1. First row, second column, first row, second column, 2 into 1, 2. First row, third column, 1 into 0, 2 into 0, 5 into 1, 5. Second row, first column, 2 into 1, 2. 1 into 0, 3 into 0. Second row, second column, 2 into 0, 1 into 1, 1. 3 into 0, 0. Second row, third column, 2 into 0, 1 into 0, 3 into 1, 3. Third row, first column, 1 into 1, 1. 2 into 0, 7 into 0, that is 1. Second, third row, second column, 1 into 0, 0. 2 into 1, 2, 7 into 0, 0, that is 2. Third row, Third column, 1 into 0, 0, 2 into 0, 0, 7 into 1, 7, that is also 7. Therefore, we get A matrix, A is a matrix of order 3. We multiply with the unit matrix of 3, then we get the same matrix as A. Okay, now we multiplied I3 with A matrix. That is equal to 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. 0, 0, 1. Multiplied with the A matrix. A matrix means 1, 2, 5, 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 7. Now I multiplied. First row, first column. 1 into 1. 1, 0, 0. That is first row, first column. 1. First row, second column. 2 into 1. 2, 0, 0. First row, third column. 1 into 5. 5, 0, 0. Second row, first column. 0 into 1, 0. 1 into 2, 2. 0 into 1, 0. Then we need 2. Second row, second column, 0 into 2, 1 into 1, 0 into 2, that is 1. 0 into 5 plus 1 into 3 plus 0 into 7, that is 1 into 3, 3. Third row, first column, 0 into 1, 0, 2, 0 into 2, 0, 1 into 1, 1. Then we add, we get 1. Third row, second column, 0 into 2, 0, plus 0 into 2, 1, 0, plus 1 into 2, 2. Now, third row, third column, 0 into 5, 0, plus 0 into 3, 0, plus 1 into 7, 7. Therefore, we get the same matrix. So, for any square matrix A, there exists an identity matrix of same order A into I n is equal to A, that is equal to also S I n into A. This identity matrix is known as the multiplicative identity of a square matrix A. Okay? Now, power 1, 6 1 is power 1. Let A be a any square matrix. Let A be a any square matrix. Then, we can define a square is equal to a into a and similarly way a q also defined as a square into a a q also defined a into a into a that is equal to a into a a square into a and similarly way a to the power n can be defined as a to the power n minus 1 into a ok a to the n can defined as a to the n minus 1 into a ok or a to the n minus 1 into a, we can write a to the power n. Now, if a to the power n into a to the power n, a to the power m into a to the power m and n are positive integral number, okay? a to the power m into a to the power n is equal to a to the power m plus n. And we can write a to the power m to the power n is equal to a to the power m n. This property is known as power rule of matrix multiplication. Okay, now we have discussed about <coughs> matrix multiplication and <coughs> some notes on matrix multiplication and very very important is our properties of a matrix multiplication. Okay, thank you. Bye.